So, uh, you hear what happened with Donald Trump in Mexico, right? Yeah. So we had like a thousand illegal immigrants or something of that nature that were just apprehended at the border, and guess what? what? Tariff season! Cue the intro! All right. Okay. Yeah, when I'm gonna do the welcome thing, one will do. How about you do the outro? I do the. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, welcome back to another edition of DNA Crows. I am your host, the D in DNA Crows, and this is Andrew, the other host. I can't, I can't do this. This is totally wrong format. I, I just totally forgot my line. Line? Line? <laughs> He's the A. As in the A-hole. <laughs> yeah, now I'm Andrew, the comic crow, your other host today. And uh, we're going to be discussing uh, Donald Trump just... Uh, yeah, he, he's playing hardball with Mexico, and it's actually really funny. Um... There were a thousand uh, migrants that were apprehended at the border. We have record-breaking numbers of people being apprehended. Um, Congress refuses to fund new beds for these facilities, and they're being overcrowded. Um, I, I, I always rag on Congress. Congress is terrible. I mean, they, they refuse to make money available just to have beds in those facilities. And then they're complaining that it's, it's, uh, you're, you're not treating PPE mainly. Yeah, go fuck yourself, Congress. <laughs> You're the reason why. Um, but no, it, it's we have record-breaking numbers now. We have way more people going across the border than ever before. I mean, we we're way past what happened last year. We're not even into June. Well, we're we're almost into June, but you've way you 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 totally surpassed those numbers. Um, so Donald Trump has uh, imposed a new plan. Basically, it's going to be a five percent tariff on all goods coming into uh, the U.S. from Mexico. And here's the thing. Well, 5%, you might go, oh, and that, that sucks. And 5% is a lot. Um, on top of that, though, he said that he will be increasing that each month the situation does not get resolved. Um, and then basically immediately after announcing that, uh, Mexico has contacted the U.S. and said they want to meet in D.C. to discuss how to end this with Donald Trump. So obviously uh, someone hit a nerve. Well, so I'm um, mostly just, I'm concerned only on the, um, the tariff is basically a 5% tax, right? I mean, uh, essentially. Um, and I mostly concerned that the American people pay for it. Well, here's the problem. The issue is you have a lot of American companies, and this is the second part. You have a lot of American companies that have basically decided, well, we're just going to go to Mexico where everything's cheaper and we don't have to pay the people decent wages and uh, we'll just build all our products super cheap there and we'll just take all this additional profit for ourselves. But don't we also benefit from that? But we do, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, you also have to look at the fact that that costs a lot of people jobs, too, especially in manufacturing. No, and I get that. And here's the argument. No, I, here, here, hold on. Before wait, you move no, on. Well, no, but while we're still on that part of oh, the subject, um, the argument that I always make is, well, yeah, those jobs um, leaving do suck. Um, I like to spend not so much money on my goods. Um, and I think the only real solution to that part of the problem is trying to find where the job market should be going, not where it was. Well, don't take... Here's the thing, and I'm not an economist. Don't, 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 ride, my, don't, don't, don't ride my ass on this. Look, it, we're only going to pay what they deem something is worth. So if you're trying to out, like raise your prices to keep profits in check, yeah, it ain't going to happen. It's not about raising your profits. It's not about raising uh, to keep I'm your profits in check. I'm talking about manufacturing. I'm talking, I'm talking like, let's, like when it comes to... Um, like the iPhone, right? So, like, yeah. those are made in China, right? Yeah. Now, we could make those here in America, uh -huh. but you'd be paying people $20 an hour, $15 an hour to, um, to make those iPhones. You would then be spending $7,000 for your iPhone. Yes and no, because the iPhone doesn't cost that much to make. I, I get there. There's a ton of profit that's in the iPhone. No, and I get that, right? But here's the thing: is they they would they, 
They're not yeah, going to sell they, the they, iPhone. For, well, they're not going to sell it for seven thousand. Yeah, but the, but they they they, they would, would basically wind up taking a hit, and that would affect the stock market. And that that's where I would say that it would really be impacted. But here's the thing. If the companies do decide to come back to the U.S., they don't have to pay the 5% tariff. So they're going to have to make that decision, you know, which is worse. Now, at the end of the day, I would say the 5% tariff is probably better. It is. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it, it probably is. But we have an issue here in the U.S. where it comes to the way that we are deciding to do jobs to or trying to raise the, uh, raise the minimum wage, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, but it, that's neither here nor there. The main goal is not... I don't think it's really to get people to come back into the U.S. I think it's to settle the issue that we have with illegal immigration that's coming in across the border from Mexico. And if you solve that, you actually do help out a lot of people because that is a major drain on the economy. Yeah, it really is. People like to argue, well, they pay, uh, they pay something like uh, 30 million or something or some number in taxes, but look at how much they are taking from uh, welfare programs and it completely dwarfs however much they're actually contributing to the system so yeah ending that issue as it's only getting worse is actually going to be beneficial for the economy too yeah and uh, look, my, my whole thing here is I think it needs to happen I, I'm, I'm tired of it I really am I don't like the fact that you have people trying to conflate legal immigration with illegal immigration saying well it's all the same thing it, it's no, no, that's a stupid well, the left, argument. The left likes to the left likes to conflate two completely separate issues. Are, are you the left? I am, but I'm not that left. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they they yeah, like you're, to you're conflate, honest. Yeah, they like to conflate two completely separate issues in order to confuse the American voter, and um, it works. Yeah, it, it's a pretty. They're, they're going to make the morality argument again and again and again, but they're not actually arguing any policy. And the thing that upsets me about it is just years ago, before Donald Trump, they were all gung-ho on why illegal immigration was bad, and it's something I think people could agree with, except now. Now it's, now it's the total opposite of that argument. Now yeah. it's, you know, you're bad, evil, immoral people if you don't agree with us, which is the argument they make for everything, so at this point... Aren't I'm just you a mostly... bad, evil, immoral person? Look at your tattoos! He has tattoos! <laughs> Only evil people and people that suck Good. the devil's peeners! Good. Have tattoos. Fuck off. <laughs> These are Marvel tattoos. Look, look, look at that. Oh That's god, crazy. even worse. Look at the Fantastic Four. This is this is classic. Fantastic he made a Four. deal with Stanley and the Devil. <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> no, don't don't throw shade on Stanley. Now you just now you're just a bad person. Like like most people on the left, <laughs> call other people immoral being immoral themselves. <laughs> No, no, don't let, him don't let him confuse you. Don't let him confuse you. My my chair doesn't have wheels. No. It's <laughs> I just have to push harder. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Yeah, look, I think it's a. I, <laughs> you okay? Yeah. yeah, this chair is falling apart. <laughs> At least it's not Shane's chair. Yeah, no, that. Jesus. Um. Okay. Look, I think that it's a good uh, I, I think it's a good thing at the end of the day. Obviously, if it got to the point where we're charging something like a 20% tariff, then yeah, the U.S. economy is going to take that hit. But at the end of the day, anything we do at this point is going to have an impact on the U.S. economy. If we take an initial hit, while everything's already very good, I'm okay with that as long as we're solving a problem that is only getting worse and is only a drain on said U.S. economy. I... I that, that, that argument I totally get. Um, obviously, I don't want the cost of goods to just raise up to something where nobody can afford it. But I also don't think that you could raise those prices to those points. I think that the stock market takes a little bit of an impact. Yeah, but do you think Apple would even continue when they just sell their company? I mean, Apple's doing it out of China, not Mexico. Yeah, no, but I just mean like in general, like when it comes to oh, I, the I, jobs I, home. I mean, I would rather just sell the company at that point. Maybe, but here's the thing. I, oh, you, you, and you, you would probably sell it to somebody in China. Yeah, right. <laughs> At the end of the day, we need an actual solution to what's going on. Um, I don't see anybody on the left coming up with those actual solutions. I only see them making these. You're, you're immoral for making that argument. It's not a crisis. It's not an issue. Uh, you're just you're just trying to stir up uh, shit. Like 
we have no solutions whatsoever so i'm gonna have to says go- the guy who's immoral <laughs> you're gonna do that but I, i'm gonna have to decide it, you know I, i'm a republican i'm conservative i'm libertarian so obviously i i i i'm, I'm a very how can biased. you be all three of those things do you care to explain <laughs> um look i well, i'm registered republican so okay what about the libertarian part about it I don't know, you just said you were three things. The only things that are three things in one is men's shampoo. Are you men's shampoo? (laughs) (laughs) Men's shampoo is awesome. I don't understand women's shampoo. Why can't you just put the the, the, the shampoo and the soap and the conditioner all into one? Um, It's perfect. It's perfect. I want my hair to live. (laughs) Um, Look, at the end of the day, Donald Trump is the only one who's coming up with any type of plan. Even if you want to say, well, it's going to have these impacts, what's the net goal? Is it going to work? I think it will, only in the sense that just making that that promise that on June 10th, which is when this is all going to go into effect, has already gotten Mexico on the phone to come in and start meeting and trying to figure out how to resolve it. To me, that's a major step forward. We, we, we need our people in Congress to actually stop with the bullshit. And I don't think that they're going to stop just because it's election season. Yeah. Why are you we putting your arm around me? I'll come together and uh, talk. Just have conversations. That's what this YouTube channel's about. All about it. Don't you see this brotherly love? We didn't let 100 subscribers get to our heads. Yeah. We didn't let 120 subscribers get to our heads either. Or 130. Yeah, but that 131, we don't need you guys no more! (laughs) (laughs) Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of DNA Crows. Again, with me, Andrew, and Dean. Uh, Please, like and comment. Uh, let us know uh, what your thoughts are on this matter. I'm, I, I always try to respond to you guys. If I'm not, uh, Dean over here is doing the exact same thing. And uh, I guarantee you, uh, we, we always live a little like like, like little part because uh, <laughs> we, 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 every comment just gets about, Just about every single comment. That means none of you are special. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. If everyone's special, nobody's special. I learned that from The Incredibles. Alright guys, we're going to end the video here. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. No, wait. Wait, first of all. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait. Did I do the intro? I did do the intro. Never mind.